fam, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fam, that's what they call me Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Whether you are new or returning, I just wanted to say thank you so much for taking the time to come and hang out with me. It means so much. So today, as you've seen in the title, we got the last and final <laughs> Deluxe Jeffree Star Mystery Box. And I, I was so excited with this, you guys. It's the first time that I've ever been able to to get any of these boxes, my supervisor, my friend slash supervisor, because <laughs> she's my friend first. Well, I mean, she was my supervisor first and then we became friends, but in my book, she's my friend slash supervisor. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, this is the Deluxe Mystery Box. I pre- opened it that way it'd be a little bit easier when I open it it looks like this and so I'm just gonna grab from the top okay I got this in medium I should have gotten large because I heard that there was a t-shirt in here and that they shrink <sighs> I'm just gonna not dry my shirts. First thing I see is this, but there's stuff in it. Ah. So, of course, we got the single shadows. I got these in the Supreme box as well, but the one that I got in this is Grave Digger. It looks a little little bit different on camera but if you guys have the cremated palette you probably know this color I do not have the cremated palette the next one is Paul Bear it's like a sparkly color like that and then the next one is R.I.P. And when you take it out, it looks like, it looks so much like the other one, but it's, it's not. Grave Digger's way darker. But just like on the camera, look at they look, one just looks a little bit lighter. That's so weird. But when you're actually looking at them in person, you could tell there's a difference, so. I've never gotten single shadows before from any place. So I don't know, like, is there something to put them in? I heard that there's things you could buy that they could go in, but like, can this just go in any one? I don't know. And the shirt is this right here. And this is the colors. You will never guess what I seen today at work. So for those of you who don't know, I am a sorter at Goodwill. <laughs> and so I work directly with the clothes and am one of the first people that actually sees each item. In fact, I pretty much am the first person to see them. And I was sorting all happy and I pull out a Jeffree Star sweater. And it was like fifth anniversary with the purple stars on the side. I was like, bitch, I've been getting the Jeffree Star mystery boxes. This is literally the first time I've ever been able to get anything from him. And all of a sudden, I find a Jeffree Star sweater. I'm buying it. I'm buying it. <laughs> but of course, there's this for the Star Lounge. 
And so I don't smoke. I'm completely sober off of everything. But I'm not going to lie. These jars are hella cute. They are so damn cute. And I know some people that do smoke. And I'm literally thinking of ordering them one of those cute little jars. I don't know what color yet, but I'm thinking about it. So the next thing that I see are these pins. I think they're cute. I can put them on my bag or whatever. I'll figure out something to put them on. They're cute. I mean, I'll make them work. <laughs> okay. The next thing that I see is this right here. And this is a palette. And I'm so happy. Either way, I would have been really happy because I heard the Thirsty palette is really nice. But I got the Jawbreaker palette. And I'm actually really happy. I had commented on other people's videos like, I really hope I get your variation. And pretty much I got their variation <laughs> from what it looks like. So for people who don't know, this is what it looks like when you take it out. It has a big old mirror right here and this thing, of course. And these are the colors. Very pretty. Okay, so the next big thing that I see right on the top is this right here. Their mini velour liquid lipstick set. And it's doll parts, calabasas, wifey, watermelon soda, Anna Nicole, prom night, red rum, I love that, and unicorn blood. And what's crazy is whenever I first started hearing about Jeffree Star Cosmetics, unicorn blood was always one of the ones that I wanted. I like that. You just, it's like magnetic look. <laughs> that's so cool like I'm gonna keep this box for after I'm pretty sure and it says love me love me not right here and when you open it and it's really sturdy it has that and then these are the colors it's super pretty I also got the Shane Dawson lip balm in Diet Shane. When you open it, I really love the packaging of Jeffree Star products. So this is what this looks like. And is this, oh no, that's not magnetic. <laughs> I'm all trying it like the uh, velour lip that I have just right up there. It's just a lip balm, but shaped like a bullet lipstick. So I got the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Resting Rich Face. <laughs> and this is an eyeliner. Thing is, I don't know if I would use this color. But I might. You never know. Let's try it right here. Ooh, maybe actually. That's really cool. I don't know. I kind of like this. I got breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh my god. Okay, so if you've seen my Supreme, I want to say it was the Supreme. I think so. I got the breakfast at Tiffany's liner. Uh, lip liner. And I was just like, that's cool, but like, what would I use that with, you know? I got the freaking lip gloss. The Velour Liquid Lip Gloss. Velour Liquid Lipstick. <laughs> oh my god. I got the matching one. And I am so excited for this. I love like different kinds of colors. That is so cool. And what I heard is that anything that... Or the, the majority of... Sorry, I can't even think. I heard that all of his lip products are eye safe as well. So that's kind of cool to know. The last thing that I got is the gloss. And I got it in pretzel drip. That's really pretty, actually. 
badass packaging for it. <laughs> it's like a goldish. That is everything that I got. I want to go on and make sure that I'm um, going to count my products and make sure I got. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That actually sounds correct. But, you know, you never know. And you, you know what? One thing that I was, like, noticing in some people's videos and other people talking about is that they were supposed to get things and they didn't get them in their box. And that shit pisses me off. I know that... I follow Samantha Sweets, and she didn't get one of her palettes, and that's a $62 palette. I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> no, no, no. Give me my shit. So I know that this one is considered an exclusive, right? And then, is the shirt? I guess I watched videos, but not enough to know what exactly so when you look at the shirts I see something like this just not in this color and it's $30 so I have to add that I can't find the breakfast at Tiffany's in the liner or the lip gloss on the website and I don't know if it's because I'm doing something wrong when I search it but like I can see every other color and I went to the colors that looked closest to this. I mean, I, I pushed all the colors around this looking like this and there, none of them are called that. So basically the Velour Liquid lipsticks are $18. Pretty much any lip product is $18, unless it's like the, the scrub, which I, I think that's a different price, but I'm not really sure. I didn't look it up obviously because that's not in here. So we have the Diet Chain for 18. We have the gloss for 18 in Pretzel Drip. This is $20 eyeliner. This is an $18 liquid lip gloss. The palette was $58, I believe. 58. And then this mini lip bundle was $52. The shirt was $30, just, you know, not in that color. Of course, the pins aren't on there, and neither are these. I did say this in my other video. I looked up a single shadow, and there is one, and they are $8 a piece. So if I wanted to go off of that price, then I will tell you the price that adds up to but just including what I could find that's $214 worth of stuff and then if I go plus eight plus eight plus eight because there's three of them that's $301 right there and then of course the pins so I mean, I think that's really awesome. Can somebody please tell me, is this supposed to be meant to be an exclusive because it's just different color that people cannot get? Like there's this shirt, but just not in these colors. I don't really understand how this works. Or are these meant to be that? Because if so, that kind of sucks. Somebody had said, hey, maybe he should have done colors from the Alien palette because that one's not coming back. Which I searched everywhere for that Alien palette, you guys. I want it bad. I want it so bad. And then I heard that that's not, you know, that's discontinued, it's not coming back. Or, you know, whatever. And I'm really sad about it. And if, I, I have to agree. If he would have done something like that, you know, with a palette that is no longer there, that would have been awesome. But it's just random colors he picked. Although this is from a palette that I do not have, so I'm not really that mad about it. And you know, it's technically kind of cool. So now I have three random ass <laughs> single shadows and I don't have any single shadows before I didn't before this. 
So, I mean, that's fine. And if I'm not going to keep them, I could either like, sell them or put them in future giveaways. I could do something, you know, where it's going to be useful. And I'm just really happy I was able to get these mystery boxes to begin with. But I have to have the people's back who don't really agree with it. You know, they were used to other mystery boxes they gotten in the past or based on how it's supposed to be. But it is a mystery box, you know, like I'm so excited that I was even able to partake in getting these mystery boxes, knowing I am happy with it. When it comes to people not getting stuff that is supposed to be in their box, I'm pretty upset for them. But other than that, I think that this was fun. I had lots of fun. I got to meet a lot of new people, like not physically in real life meet them, but because I was searching this or they came to my channel, I got to make new friends and I will always be grateful for that. I definitely cannot, you know, who would complain about making new friends because of mystery boxes? It's something that I didn't have and I'm really happy that I have them. And with my personal story, I'm a recovering addict. So for me to be able to work my butt off and save and invest in my channel and in myself to make these videos, then I, I'm a winner. I'm a winner in that. And that's really cool. So I still haven't been able to use my green screen that I got. <laughs> I'm still doing research on it and practicing and stuff. So I just really wanted to take the opportunity to make this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. Did you get one of these mystery boxes, the deluxe one? And if so, did we get similar things? Did we get different variations? Are you one of the handful of people who didn't get stuff in their box that was supposed to be there? If so, have they gotten back to you about getting your items to you? Or, you know, what's going on with that? I hope that that all gets worked out because that's really not fair. I wanted to come hang out with you guys and show you what I got. It may not look like it, but I am really so excited. I hope wherever you're at, no matter what time it is, you are having a good one. Thank you so much. Bye.